Hello, I'm Enrique Herrera. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Mexico. So, what makes me want to be an actor? So, since I was a little kid, I always prefer to watch all movies and listen to all music. I was always talking about old actors and actresses. Obviously, my friends didn't even know what I was talking about. My parents always said that I was born in the wrong decade. When I was growing up, I started to imitate a lot of different characters like Michael Jackson, cartoon voices from Disney, or any other cartoon TV show. I really loved acting, and I always shared that with my family and friends. I also participated in a lot of school plays and musicals. But I never thought about being an actor. So I remember one day that my chemistry teacher said to me, you are not good for, for school, and all your classmates are better than you, but you are the best at what you like to do. So take advantage of it. And I don't know if he was really mad at me, or if he was giving me a really good advice. So when I finally, finally realized that I wanted to be an actor, is when I watched The Godfather 1 and 2. That was the inspiration that I needed in my life. So I remember that I said to me, I was born for this, and I want to do this for the rest of my life. So I know that the Academy have the perfect courses to help me prepare, improve, and grow as an actor. But most importantly, as a person, in order to become all my goals and objectives into something real. So I'm gonna interpret a monologue of Romeo from Romeo and Juliet, Act 2, Scene 2. What's up? What like to be on the window breaks? It is the east. And Juliet is the sun. Arise first sun and kill the envious moon, who's already sick and pale with grief. The thought had made her far more fur than she. Be not amazed since she's envious. Her best of liver is but sick and green, but none but fools to wear it. Cast it off! It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, how she knew she were. She speaks yet, she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairy stars in all the heaven having some business to entreat her eyes into twinkle in the spheres until her return. What if her eyes were there, there in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as they like both a lamp. Her eyes in heaven will through the airy region stream so bright that birds will sing and dig in well the night. See how she leans her cheek upon that hand. Oh, that I will glow up upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. I'm gonna interpret a monologue of Billy from album, Act 1, Scene 2. Dear Marston, you incredible dipshit. What I'm doing, wasting my time, writing this letter to you. Being a junior counselor really sucks. I hate telling kids what to do. They have to call me mister. I wake up in the morning, they go, hey Mr. Baldwin, I wet my bed. And I'm like, no, sorry. My father is in here right now. <sighs> One cool thing, we had a party with the girl counselors at this place called Camp Idle Pines for girls across the lake. <laughs> we bought some beer. That's the other cool thing. The older guy is going to town and get it for you. <sighs> anyway, I got some great action at that party. You know the album The Beach Boys today? Cool album for parties. They put all the fast songs on the first side and all the slow songs on the second side. 
you know, for them dancing and then making out. Really a cool idea. The Beatles ought to do something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All the people buy their records anyway. God, who gives a shit about that?